One of the biggest changes we saw in the crypto markets in 2019 was the decline of the prevailing utility token model and the rise of a new one. We started seeing the transition from first generation to second generation utility token economic models. And in 2020, we will see the rise of third generation utility tokens. Now, when I say utility token economic models, I'm referring to the way utility tokens are valued. And how are utility tokens valued? That seems like a pretty obvious question, yet it's hard to get a straight answer on this subject. So let me share my perspective. Utility tokens are valued based on an economic theory, the theory of supply and demand. And the theory goes like this. Utility tokens are needed to perform some utility on a blockchain, some function. Let's say you want to play a DAP game, a distributed application, decentralized application. That game is run on a blockchain and it needs a token to work. You buy the token, you feed the token into the smart contract, and you get done what you want to do, say trade an NFT. Now, as more people want to play the DAP game, more people need to buy the token to do it. And as more people buy the token, the existing token holders see demand going up and they react by demanding a higher price to part with their tokens. A growing demand for something with a fixed supply causes the price to rise, at least according to the law of supply and demand. So there is this relationship between demand for the utility token and its price. The more people who want the token, the more the sellers can charge for it. I'd summarize this first generation economic model, this principle of how it works as follows. The token value is theoretically associated with on blockchain transactions. Now I said theoretical because there is no direct link between the blockchain transactions and the value of the token. And nearly all utility tokens are based on this economic model. But you know, it's 2020 now and market sentiment is waning on this concept. This is one reason utility tokens have declined so much from the ICO mania of 2017. So what's next? In 2019, we saw the first signs that the second generation utility token model had arrived. What is a second generation utility token? It's where the token is finally linked, albeit indirectly, to off blockchain economic activity. The Binance token would be a good example of this. What is appealing to a lot of people about second generation utility tokens is that these tokens offer holders a way to share in some economic activity. They have a security token like quality in that regard. And the market responded to this in 2019 very positively. Binance's BNB token went from about 800 million market cap in January to a high of over $5 billion. Now in a bad market for utility tokens, the BNB token finished the year with a market cap of over $2 billion. So it grew by more than 300%, which is why you are seeing other businesses, namely crypto exchanges, following suit with their own second generation utility tokens. This type of token is clearly preferred over the original utility token model. So what comes next? I think we're gonna see a pretty rapid movement into third generation utility tokens. And the hallmark of third generation utility tokens is this, the token value is directly linked to on blockchain economic activity. Third generation utility tokens differ from second generation in two critical respects. First, the economic activity being shared with token holders is directly from on chain activity and that economic activity is transparent. It's transparent because it's on the blockchain, not going on somewhere else like uh, a centralized exchange. Think of DeFi applications that allow on-chain collateralization and on-chain leverage as an early example of third generation utility tokens. And given the very positive market response to this evolution, in utility token design, expect to see a lot more of these to come. And perhaps even a sneak peek at the dawn of fourth generation utility tokens before the year is up. What will fourth generation utility tokens bring that we don't see in third generation? You'll have to wait a little longer for that answer. If you like what you heard today, please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Shutterstock 